What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going back to a job I was already working on. Uh, these customers had some new tile put down and these guys only do the tile, nothing else. Not even uh, flooring thresholds. So they called me because one, they needed the shoe molding put on, new shoe molding after the floor was done. And then they also had three transitions that needed to be finished off. The tile guys put the tile down, left the carpet tore up with that metal tack strip, and they said they don't do anything with the floors other than just the tile, which is kind of amazing. And on top of that, the day that I went and looked at it, the house was a mess. I felt so bad for these people. There was dust on everything. Every table, every chair, every countertop. It was everywhere and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe they left the customer's house like this. So they were already upset. So that means that it's time for me to come in and save the day. So I didn't record the first day because I forgot all my camera stuff and I'm really, really bad at remembering it. And I put up all the shoe molding, uh, got everything caulked in, the nail holes filled, and then I had to, I had to make three transitions and then stain and polyurethane, which I'll show you on the video today of where I'm at. Today I'm going back, I'm gonna paint all the trim and then get the three transitions installed. So you can do a couple of things. You can put that metal strip back down, which looks terrible, or uh, it's a concrete subfloor. You could take the carpet and fold it back and glue it back down and then you just have the tile where it's cut and the carpet but i don't know i don't that doesn't look the best either i mean it looks okay but it's not the it's not the best look um so i i built all three of them and made like a t-molding stain and polyurethane it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and install it so the first one i glued it down and I put a bunch of weight on it with a smaller transition and it worked good. It's really, really strong. But these other ones are longer, they're almost eight feet and I'm like, well, I don't know if I should do that because I don't have a lot of weight. I just don't wanna go like setting a bunch of bags of tools on there to hold it down and I don't have enough to hold two of them down at once and that's how you, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible and not have to run back and forth, back and forth. So these last two, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna put a little bead of glue push it down and then I'm going to use Tapcons pre-drilled with a countersink and then attach it to the subfloor and then fill it with a, a wood plug. That's the idea that I came up with. Uh, I think it's going to look good. The transition strips look really good. They're almost identical to the floor and the tiles like a wood uh, looking those wood like plank looking tiles. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll be completely finished today, probably, uh, I'm saying, we'll say five hours to be on the safe side. If everything goes smooth, it might be a little sooner, but I don't like, I hate saying when I'm going to be done at a certain time because it always, always ends up biting me in the butt and never happens the way you say it's going to. Okay, here's the threshold I was talking about. So I glued this one down. Now I'm just staining it to match. Here's the color of the floor. And... The glue worked good. This is a small transition, but like I was saying, these two bigger ones are longer. So there's the T-mold I had to make. And what I'm gonna do, like I said, this is a concrete subfloor. I put double-sided tape to hold the carpet down. I put those in there, drill, tap cons, and then plugs that I stained to match that. And it should look good. Here's all the shoe molding I put up the other day. Bathroom, hallway, entryway there. Closet, dining room area, kitchen area, and laundry room. So I got it all caulked, nail holes filled. I'll go around now and put my one inch tape, nine inch paper, and then I'll start sanding the nail holes. All right, we're about ready to be painting. Like I said, one inch tape, nine inch paper, and then I use the yellow frog tape at the top for when I start brushing, because I'm gonna brush all this. I'm not gonna spray it, but this way the yellow tape, less chance of the paint peeling off the wall. So, got it all prepped. Just gotta 
sand down some nail holes, and then we'll start painting. Not sure if you guys can see that, but I actually got a seam right there. And I put some wood filler in there, and the seam gets smooth. You can tiny, see it a tiny bit, and once I paint that, it'll go away. You won't even see it because I couldn't get a full piece behind the sink, and the toilet was too long, so. You don't want to get too crazy when you're filling these nail holes. Just a little proud, light seam. Boom, can't even see it. Also, this is from Gator Finishing. They sell it in a little kit. It comes with this. It comes with three different grits of sandpaper and it's just Velcro. But this thing is perfect for this little stuff. I use it all the time. <laughs> Threshold is all in. Looks really, really good. All right, this job is done. Thresholds are down. They look really good. Not really much I could do about there because of where the tile lays and where it's finished. These look good. I guess I could have maybe cut that. I probably should have cut that like this. I think is what I should have done. But at any rate, another threshold. Looks good, do a quick vacuum and then we're out of here. Kitchen and laundry room is done. Go back to, go back to
back together on the next one. All right, guys, that job is done. Whew. It got me wore out right at the end. I don't know why, but it took me a little longer than I thought. About an hour longer than what I thought. Um, I can't remember what I said earlier in the video, but it took me about five hours today. Let's see. Yeah, five hours. I think I thought it would take me four, so an hour extra. But needless to say, we got it done. It looks really good. The customer is really happy. Everything turned out well. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So for 15 hours, that was, I installed 150 feet of shoe molding. I, um... Got rid of both of the thresholds that had the metal tack strip on there and cut that back and got that all prepped, ready to put the thresholds down. That was making the thresholds, staining them, polyurethaning them, and then caulking all the shoe molding and trim and filling all the nail holes from the shoe molding and then going back, sanding them all down, which was today, the final day, sanding them all down painting and installing those three thresholds so that was 15 hours total i believe yeah 15 hours so not too bad um you know i you just when you get to the end is when you you start to get yourself worn out and i always tried to do the tasks from the hardest to the easiest so i probably should have the thresholds held me up a little bit. I maybe should have done those first and then painted the trim because I've done that a million times. But I didn't. doesn't matter. In the end, it looked good. Customer was happy. So yeah, on to the next one. It's almost every day now that I'm not at the fire department. I am working in regards to something business related, whether it's picking up materials or going doing an estimate going to a job site dropping off materials doing a job looking at something it's every single day because it's, it's just busy everybody is calling all at once to get something done of course and now i'm booked through uh pretty much the third week of june almost the fourth week if i get this other job and then i go away for the fourth of july but needless to say let's move on to the next one guys don't forget give me a thumbs up hit that bell for notifications subscribe to the channel if you got any comments, drop in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the next video.